Hello students, welcome back again. This is the another ICT video class from ICT department and you are most welcome. Students, I hope you are all in this pandemic situation by the grace of Almighty Allah and I am also. Student, at first I introduce myself. I am Abraham, senior teacher, department of ICT, Malaysian College. Students, today we discuss about a specific number system conversion on chapter 3, the number system and digital device. So please stay with me sometimes and I hope it will be great for you. So again, you are welcome to my online ICT class. Students, let's start. Friends, today's topic is decimal to hexadecimal conversion. Students, you have already know there are four types of number on the basis of base: decimal, binary, octal, and hexadecimal. Here, the possibilities of the number system conversion to decimal to other numbers like decimal to binary, decimal to octal, and decimal to hexadecimal. So, students, today we discuss. How to convert a decimal number into a hexadecimal number? So, a number of base 10 convert into equivalent number of base 16. Students, before the conversion, the question is arise what is decimal number and what is hexadecimal number? A number is called decimal whose base 10 and the digits are used in decimal number system 0 to 9. There are 10 digits. A number is called hexadecimal whose base is 16 and there are 16 digits used in hexadecimal number system where hexa means 6 and decimal means 10. That is 16. And the digits are used in hexadecimal number system 0 to 9 and A, B, C, D, E, F. Higher, A used for 10, B used for 11, C used for 12, D used for 13, E used for 14, and M used for 15. That's what you have already known. Students, here is a number that we want to convert decimal to hexadecimal. In this number, there are two parts like this is called the integer part. And this is called the fractional part. Students, the integer part and fractional part separate by a point which is called the radius point. To convert a decimal integer value to a hexadecimal, there are some rules. The rules are repeatedly divided by base 16 until the chain becomes 0. That is very important line. The, rep the repeatedly divided by base 16 until the quotient becomes 0. And collect the remainder from downward to upward. So, According to the rules, we have to divide this value by base 16. When we divided 125 value by base 16, we get a crucial and a remainder. So, students, if I divided 125 by 16, the crucial equal 7 and 16 7 are equal 112 112 that means the remainder is 13 so this position is for quotient and this position fixed for the remainder so the quotient equal 7 hyphen not minus it called hyphen hyphen and the remainder so remember that students if the remainder is greater than 9 like 10 11 12 13 14 you have to use a b c d e and f 
So instead of 13, you have to use D. Press roses, the quotient becomes zero. Uh, still now we can't get the quotient value zero. So we, we have to divide it again, this value by base 16. Students, what is happened now? If I divide it by base 16 to 7, it is not possible. That means the quotient equals 0. Say uh, 16 into 0 equals 0, and the remainder is 7. The value is 0 hyphen, and the remainder value is 7. That is the value we want to terminate the process. So, at last, collect the remainder from downward to upward. So, students, we collect the remainder from downward to upward. That is the result of hexadecimal of this decimal number. So, we can write 1, 2, 5 decimal equal 7 D hexadecimal. Students, now we want to convert the fractional decimal number into base hexadecimal number and there are some rules. The rules are repeatedly multiplied by base 16 until it becomes integer. Most important lines, separate the integer part and the fractional part and last one is collect the integer part from the from upper to downward. So the fractional number is 0.75 and we have to write the number on fractional part. Now students, the fractional part is multiplied by base 16 and the production is 1200. Here 12 is integer part and 00 is fractional part. So the integer part place here and the fractional part place here. So students, the production is totally integer that we want to terminate our process. Uh, students, remember that the, you, you have to use C instead of 12. That already you have known. So students, our process is done. Now, we have to collect the integer number for, from upward to downward. The, the flow is upward to downward. There is only one below, which is C. So the answer, so the answer for the for the number seven five decimal equal point C. But this is the result for fractional part. So students, the final combined result for one twenty five point seven five is. is here the number 7 d and the radix point and the result for 0.75 is c base 16 that is the result students this is the homework for you you have to convert every decimal number into hexadecimal number so students that's for today if you face any problem or any query about decimal to hexadecimal conversion contact with your subject teacher take care of yourself and stay home stay safe thank you allah bless